Mastering the Art of Passive Voice with Must. Hello learners. Today, we're going to delve into a vital aspect of English language learning, passive voice with modals. More specifically, we're going to learn about using the passive voice with the modal verb, must. The passive voice is a grammatical construction where the subject of a sentence is the recipient of the action. This is the opposite of the active voice, where the subject is the doer of the action. In English, we form the passive voice using be plus past participle. For example, the active sentence, John opens the door, becomes, the door is opened, in passive voice. Now, let's have a quick recap of what modal verbs are. Modals are a type of auxiliary, helping, verb that express ability, possibility, permission or obligation. The modal verb we're focusing on today is must. In active voice, must expresses obligation or necessity. For example, John must do his homework. Here, must implies that it is necessary for John to do his homework. To turn an active sentence with must into passive, we use must be plus past participle. In the passive version of our earlier example, John must do his homework becomes the homework must be done. Here, the focus shifts from John to the homework implying the necessity of the homework being done. Now, let's put this into practice. 1. Convert this active sentence into passive. You must water the plants. 2. Convert this passive sentence into active. The forms must be filled. Remember, the key here is to identify the object and the action in the sentence and reverse their roles while ensuring the obligation, necessity remains intact. I hope this video helps you to better understand the use of passive voice with must. Keep practicing and remember, mastering any language takes time, but every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Happy learning!